Welcome back, everybody. We're talking with UConn's women's basketball head coach, Gina Oriama. What did the 2012 Olympics mean to you? I mean, how does that compare with the national championship? Uh, it's a lot harder to win the, the Olympics. Um, you're playing against the best teams in the world, the best players in the world. There's a, a lot of pressure when you're representing the United States of America, and they've got the flags there, and... and the poles there and they're ready to lift the flag up and they're going to play the national anthem at the end of the game and god forbid you got to sit there and listen to somebody else's and it's like uh, and like all these people that work so hard to make it happen um so yeah that that's the most pressure i've ever felt but it had to be a little easier because you had a lot of your players on the team yeah but they've changed they don't <laughs> they don't want to hear it the way they used to hear it right they had no choice back then all right it's time for hit and run all right all right i'm gonna say something first thing that comes to your mind here we go Favorite meal? My wife, Kathy's, uh, probably uh, veal melonese. Okay. College uh, arena with the best atmosphere and environment? Uh, Cameron Indoor Stadium, probably. Your most memorable college game and why? Probably the game that we beat uh, University of Toledo to go to the, to the regionals in 1990-91 because it was our first regionals. And then we won that, and we went to the Final Four because we were down two with, like, about 20 seconds left. Kerry Basco made a three-point play. We won by one. All right. The top three female college players that you've ever seen? Ever? Ever. Uh, Diana Taurasi, Maya Moore, and Cheryl Miller. Now, all your players that will watch this show that you didn't pick as the top right. three, will you get phone calls? No, because they know I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> the team you are most considered to be UConn's uh, biggest rival? Notre Dame. Okay. Uh, the significance behind the cross that you wear? My father brought uh, this chain. He went to Italy for the first time since they've been over, and he brought this chain back from Italy, and it's one of a kind. I don't think they make them anymore, and I've had this same one since my senior year in high school. Can we see it? The, the cross that's on it. Right is the second one, the second cross I've had. Uh -huh. The first one melted when I worked in a steel mill. It was so hot. Really? Um, one former player who surprised you and impressed as the classic overachiever. I think the two players who epitomized that were Jennifer Rosati and Jamel Elliott. Because when they came into UConn, no one expected what they were able to do. Jennifer Rosati went from, like, not even the top 100 whatever to national player of the year as a senior. Uh, best piece of advice anyone ever gave you? Work hard and make a lot of friends. If given a mulligan in life, what would you have done differently? I would have worked a little bit harder in college to get to law school. But then this wouldn't have happened. But who knows what could have happened? Might be president of Yes Network and you'd be working for me. <laughs> And based on this interview, you would get a huge raise. <laughs> Thank you. All right, when Gino Oriama is uh, watching TV late at night, long day, favorite late night snack, what are you shoveling down their throat? Ice cream. What kind? Mint chocolate chip. My favorite. All right, finally, if you were trapped in a foxhole, what person would you most like to have in there with you to help you get out? Who are we fighting? A bad enemy. A bad enemy. I, I would say, of, of, of all the people that I've met in my life, um, probably Chris Daly or my brother. Nice. My brother, he's, uh, he's completely different than me. First of all, we wouldn't be in the foxhole because he would be beating up the other guys. Okay. <laughs> but he runs a little construction thing down in Philadelphia, and he looks like that. Yeah? Tough. He, yeah, he's tough. Like, when he shakes hands with you, his fingers... Shake hands with your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to wrap things up with Gino Oriama right here on Center Stage. Stay tuned.